Hey guys, my name is Manjunath and in last video we were successfully able to create models and make the migration. So, and in this video we are going to look at how we can work with the Django administration that is the when we go to slash admin Django provides us a username and password which we don't know what is username and password and how we can like use it. So if you once we go inside this page you will be like amazed to see what and all django provides us by default so first of all we have to create the user which can be long used to log into this username and password so let me go to command line and let me just clear it out first once i clear it out i can directly type a command called python3 as you best it right everything starts with python3 planet.p5 and make super user so this command won't work because we have to use create super user see i made one mistake and django told me what needs to be done so let me just change the command as python3 manet.py create super user if i directly type this i made again type mistake so let me correct this problem this always happens when you be programmed so you don't have to think uh, like why i'm making mistake you will also make mistake uh, and when you are doing mistake you just have to go back and correct it and you have to fix it so let me type this thing properly create a super user so if i type this particular thing properly that time it will ask me what username i need to type so let me type it as manjanath which is also will be default if we don't type anything but let me just type as it as my Manjanath and if I do enter it will ask me to type a email address and just put one dummy email address Manjanath at Manjanath.com and password I can keep anything but let me just type 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 and if I just enter it it will ask me again to type the password It will just tell me to bypass the password validation but i am a super user so i can just type yes so it will just bypass it don't do it on production keep your password like little bit complex and quickly so now we got the username that is manjanath here and the password which i have set it to how to set it for yourself i just set it as one two three four five six seven eight nine long time if I just click login, it won't let me do anything because server is not running. So make sure your server is running and I can directly type Python 3 manage.py run server. And it will allow me to run the server and I should be logged in by default. If you are not logged in, just type just type username and password and you will be able to see this page. And this page is by default created for us by Django. We don't have to do anything it's just awesome to see this particular page because you can directly go to user and you can add user and the user which i have created is still here and i can go and edit it i don't think any other framework for provides you this particular ease of use user interface by default that we don't have to install any kind of third party package so in this particular thing it would have been very like really useful if this particular product also was there. so don't worry django provides us how we can like add products here edit products here and update and look all the products so we are going to do it in this particular video in a while so let me go to this particular folder and uh, i'm in pages app let me close this migration folder which i have opened okay so once i close this migration uh, I have one file named admin.py. In this particular folder, I can register the model which I have created in this particular file. So let me just import it first. So in order to import, I can directly type from dot models import the model which I required that is product model. So let me just go to admin.py and make it import product. 
and once i import this model i can type admin dot sites dot register and i can put this product model in here once i put this particular product model it will give me error because i just have to type site i don't need sites so once i change this particular thing properly and make sure it is admin dot site dot register otherwise it will give us the error here and if you include this particular model inside it and if you go now here and refresh you will be amazed the products model is already here and we can directly come here and add products that is just awesome i don't think any other framework provides you this much ease of user management that's why django is awesome for uh, freelancers and all because you can use this particular thing and you can build the product i mean you can create the client projects just by creating one model you will be able to add it update it edit it with awesome user interface so let me just add few products and just add it as an android phone and description i can keep it as this is android phone and price i can keep anything so just keep it as 200 2000 rupees and sale you can say no sale by label okay if i just click save it will create entire product for us but it will tell me this as product dot object and if i add another product apple phone this is new apple phone price will be 2500 for this particular banner this is 100 rupees 100 dollars 100 off on mrp so if i just save it it will add the another project a product but it is not giving us like good use easy usable name so i just have to go to this particular file and i have to define a function for the underscore underscore str and it will it gave me the suggestion because of the plugin which i am using if you don't have a plugin don't worry but you just have to type def underscore underscore this is double underscore str and double underscore in the bracket just put self and you can just return self dot name and if i just refresh here now it will give me okay i have to migrate it properly okay. okay now we are able to see the apple phone you don't have to migrate it just make sure it's saved and you will be able to refresh it here so once you have refreshed it and the product is available now we can go back to the main file of here and instead of displaying hello django is awesome here we just have to make sure this products which we have added in the admin section displayed here so let me go to views of this particular page by using this particular view let me just make sure i will be able to display the products in here so i just have to go to this particular section of the home page and first we need to import the model which we require it can be imported from Jan, from dot models so import the model name is product so import product once i import the product i need to set a variable that would be products is equal to product dot and we'll be able to do different methods here but i need to use objects dot all this will give me all the objects which are available in the product model that is the product table in the database so once i get that product i just need to create a data object and inside this data object i can make a products column products which will just create give us one data object and we can pass it while we are rendering this particular view that is home.html and we'll just pass it out here and once we pass it out here we'll be able to use it in the home.html so as of now there is just hello 
Django, this is awesome here. If I just refresh the table desktop. Hello Django, this is awesome. Okay, but we need to look through those products which we got from products here. Even though we mentioned here data, we don't have to use data object. We just have to render through products object. So I just have to come here in the home page and I have to create one for loop. And make sure you put this syntax only that is percentage symbol with the curly braces. And I can just type product in products. And I'll be able to use this particular product object inside this. But I'll just make sure this is ended. That is end for. Okay. And whatever type inside this inside this, it is it will be in the loop. So let me just show you. H2 and uh, I can just type uh, product dot title which will give me the title and uh, if I type uh, product product dot description uh, it will give me the description so if I just refresh uh, the two products are displayed here uh, and this description, description is not being displayed uh, so I, I might have spelled it wrong let me just copy paste it from here. If I just try, just paste it properly. Should be able to display the description. Okay, it's not displaying the title properly because I there is no title. It's just the name. So let me just refresh it. Once I refresh, I'll be able to see Android phone and Apple phone here. And if we go to slash admin in another page, slash admin that time we'll be able to add a new product that can be Linux laptop and this is Linux laptop and price can be 2500 and the big discount of 500 dollars and if I just save it, Linux laptop is added. And I just have to come here and refresh it, and Linux laptop is available. I can also put some other details. For example, I can put the price, which will just give me the price of the product. And I can also put the created at that will just give us the data when it was created. Django formats it everything nicely. But uh, we can use Bootstrap to make it look even better. So just have to create a div here dot row, which will give me the closing and ending div. So let me just put it outside this thing. It will give me a row. And if I just take everything in here, and okay, this is supposed to be outside this. Make sure you cross check it and make sure everything is fine and it looks exactly like in mine. So let me just copy it and tell folders mb dash 4, which will give me the columns. These are our bootstrap classes, so you don't have to like, focus much on this thing. So let me just make it look a bit better by saying card card dash body p. It will give a little bit a much better view than existing one. So it will just it will just let us make the things look little bit beautiful than by default. And if I delete some kind of if I just modify some kind of product here, for example, instead of Apple phone, I just type Apple phone updated then it will show me the updated version in here that is sample phone updated so in here if i go and select something and delete it then it will ask me to delete it then once i click it the product is deleted and it's gone from here also so it's very useful if you are doing freelancing the django is very useful for this particular scenario because the backend is 
the CRUD functionality of admin panel is already hooked in. We just have to go to admin.py and register the model which we create in this particular file. That is the product model here. So that's it for this video guys and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.